Hey everyone, today I'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends, Marvel Studios, Infinity Saga, Avengers Endgame, Thor. And yes, I got all this Christmas decorations going on. Look at this shit. Oh, I'm so proud. First, take a look at the packaging. As you can see, there's an open window that displays this awesome looking figure and all of his accessories. It has Avengers Endgame up here. It says Legend Series, Marvel Studios up here. You got uh, the Infinity Saga logo, I mean text right here. So his name is Thor. Got the Avengers logo on the side. We already talked about this with the Iron Man packaging. Yeah, it's just got some characters right here. Got some more characters right here. Infinity Saga up there. We got this nice looking poster up here. Got bio. Says got uh, says Thor up there. Got warnings, etc. On the bottom, more warnings on the top. Got Avengers Endgame Thor. Got some dust particles and stuff. But yet me let mm, blah. Let's let let me hurry up and get this guy open. For accessory he, accessories, he comes with two grippy hands right here that have an up, up and down hinge in it. Let me just straighten that hand out. And he comes with two open hands that I like to um, wrap the electric effects around. Electric effects around. If you saw my Instagram post, he comes with two electric effects which look really nice and he comes with stormbreaker right here i love let me just get it back a little bit so you can see i love the silver details along here they look really nice you got the handle as well looks good as well you can wrap the electric effects around it if you would like right there that actually doesn't look that bad and then he also comes with of course, Milner. That's done in a translucent blue. This is also is done in a translucent blue there. Got some thunder effects around it. And then you got the handle with some silver right here that wraps the loop around there. You can also put the electric effects around this, which is kind of hard to do. But now taking a look at the figure. It doesn't want to stand because it is kind of uneven. Let's pan it down. It is kind of uneven right here on this base because I had to use multiple of these white sheets. And so it doesn't really want to stand up there. And I can't really do size comparisons that well because they just don't want to stand on the soft well, of course. Okay, now it wants to stand, but it is kind of like not flat. Oh, and now he's falling over. It's not really flat right here. So it is kind of difficult stand those figures up and the phone wants to be crooked can you not be crooked be straight please is it straight i think maybe it is but taking a look at this figure oh my god it looks so good the head sculpt is really nice i really love i really love all the let me just can the camera just go up please yeah okay i really love all the I really love the head scope right here. You got some scars going across the face right there. You got some nice uh, shading around the eyes, symbolizing that he's using his uh, lightning abilities. The hair has a really nice wash to it. it. Looks really nice. I love the brown aspects in the go in the uh, blonde hair. Got a tie part right here. And the beard looks really nice, nice shading. I mean, uh, I mean, nice washed it as well. This piece is kind of thin right here, so be careful. That is rubbery though, but I'm just afraid that's gonna break. The beard looks nice. Got some lip paint right there. It looks really good. See right here, we got this nice little fat dad bod belly right there. Got these discs right here that he has on uh, every costume he wears. But there is some nice detail scoped around of all these lines and stuff going everywhere. It looks really good. And then right here, you got some nice bronze paint going on here. Got the nice details going across here. And I just because I guess I have to point out now, it is pinless. For the people that want to know, it is pinless right here. But the, but the detail right here is really nice. And the texture is nice as well. For the little gauntlets. Got some like uh, bands going across here, some wristbands uh, that are um, wrapped along here. The hands, of course. The cape 
nice. Well, before I talk about the cape, let me talk about the rest of the figure. There is some um, nice bronze paint going along here. See right there, some lines, some more sculpted detail, some wrinkles as well. The knee pads has some nice texturing in it. The boots look really, really good. Got some wrinkles in it as well. The cape, I really like the cape. There's some nice wrinkles in it. And it is kind of soft, so it could get out of poses that you want to put it in. And there, and there's black right there. It's kind of shiny up here. What is that? That's actually kind of sticky. I don't know what that is. Maybe I spilled something on it. I don't know, but there's some nice texturing in the cape. I have to fix that later. Looking at the back right here, there's some more scope to detail in the bronze paint go all the way across to here. So this is an aesthetically nice looking figure. Don't really have anything wrong with it, but the fact that it just won't stand up properly, well, that's most because of how this is right here. And I actually forgot to measure the figure, so you see how tall it is. It stands, it out. oh, it wants to fall over. Let me just hold it up. It stands at about, you won't be able to really see it, but to the top of his hair right here, to about six and three quarters. But let me unzoom the camera. All right. Me, oh, a little cotton ball fell. This review is gonna turn out to be shit, isn't it? Cause everything's falling over, everything's not really going well. Got all these lights everywhere. And then all this stuff's supposed to simulate snow, just not working out. I'm just gonna have to hold it up against the figure. Here it is against another Infinity Saga figure, Iron Man. And then let me just hold it together right here. Look at them, they're holding hands. We just bring Captain America in here and obviously you get what I'm trying to do. Except in, in Endgame, Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man fought Thanos. But obviously this isn't the proper Captain America and this isn't the proper Iron Man. But you got to work with what we got, right? Articulation time. There is a dumbbell joint up at the head. So he can look up farther than I thought he would. Oh, there's also is a dumbbell down at the base as well. You can look down that far. You get some head tilt, some rotation. There is a hinge at the oh at the shoulder. You can go up that far. You can go around 360. Bicep rotation. Double bend at the elbow. Pretty good range. Wrist rotation, wrist can hinge up and down. That is, no, that's down and up. I'm getting my, getting it confused. Ball joint at the mid torso allows you to crunch that much, crunch back that much. You wouldn't really expect them to crunch forward that much anyway because it is fat ass. And go side to side and you got rotation. Ball joint at the hip can kick up that much. Of course, you wouldn't be able to get the kick up that much because again, it's fat ass. You can go back that much, can go out that far. Thigh rotation, double bend at the knee. There. Foot can hinge up that much, hinge back that much. You got, and you got nice ankle pivot. And so what are my final thoughts on this figure? Absolutely fucking amazing. This figure is so fun to mess around with. I mean, yes, in some poses, he definitely will fall on you. Probably because his fat ass needs to lose some goddamn weight. But <laughs> it's still a really fun figure to mess with. The accessories are so nice. The, the, I just love all the accessories, basically. The details are so nice. 10 out of 10 for me for this figure. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.